Patrick, I'm looking at these names. Uh, a lot of UBS lifers in this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Imoti has returned to uh, UBS and he's laying out his new leadership team. Uh, and it does look uh, like a bit of a continuity play. Um, it's quite UBS heavy. I guess the one surprise that was in there was a change of a CFO. So they've brought in a new guy, Todd Tucker. Um, I think he's relative unknown uh, outside of UBS, uh, but he seems to have been at, at UBS for a while. Um, and the investment banking head is staying the same. So, um, you know, this looks like an immediate uh, move to put in, um, you know, the managers for the integration. Uh, to me at this point in time. <coughs> I think some people are speculating that Naratil might come back. Of course, he left uh, as Ralph Hammers arrived. The interesting line is we seem to have shifted along on the Swiss business. As Danny said, there are some lifers in, not lifers, but there are long-term uh, people in the UBS business. Bullock, uh, Christine uh, the, the head of the Swiss businesses there will evaluate all options for Credit Suisse business. And that's incremental progress, isn't it? Because when he was with me just a couple of weeks ago, he said, oh, I'm glad you've met people that know how to run a Swiss bank. Um, but here we are. It's obviously a very real live issue, whether it's IPO'd, whether it's sold uh, or, or integrated. How important is this piece on the chessboard? It's the one of the most valuable pieces within CS. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it'll be key to uh, you know get a, a very good uh, valuation for that business if if they do decide to do um, something with it. And you know, Amati is a guy who's been at UBS for a long, long time, um, and you know him very well, Manus. Uh, you know, I think he was at uh, UBS just as a CEO for almost a, a decade, uh, together with uh, Axel Weber, the chairman at the time. So he has very deep connections. Um, he knows lots of people um, at the bank, and I'm sure that he will count on the people who he trusts the most and who he's you know, worked with over a long period of time. Um, um, and if we look at the uh, picks which he's made today, you know, it does seem to be rather focused on the UBS side, perhaps people he's worked with before, uh, than on bringing over the um, executive team from Credit Suisse who may not be as uh, tried and trusted in his opinion.